Hello, hello everybody. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. So today I thought I would have some fun and make a little video on my current live presets. Really, really enjoying the Fractal Audio FM9 Turbo. I've had a few gigs with it now, sounding fantastic through the PA. So yeah, the more I use this thing, the more I'm falling in love with it. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's have some fun. Uh, I've got my uh, Les, Les Paul here, R9, ready to rock, custom bookers. So yeah, just in case anybody's wondering what guitar I'm using. As always, we'll be starting from the cleanest, going through to the high gain stuff. So what I pretty much like to do, um, because I'm using this for the band, is to try and cover all bases gain stage wise. So from the cleanest cleans, through to the high gain stuff and everything in between. So what I'm trying to do is, while providing myself with as many gain stages as possible, is to also try and keep things as simple as possible as well. So saying that, in this preset, in my main preset, what's happening is I've got pretty much one cab. Like I say, keep things simple. If I was in the real world using real cabs, I'm not gonna bring out five or six cabs on the stage. Um, I'm gonna use one, maybe two at the most, but probably just one. So that's what I'm doing here in the FM9. And I'm using pretty much two heads on my main preset, it's a Marshall preset. I did make a video on this, um, a couple of videos back if you wanna go and check that out. But this is what I'm using for live. Um, it's pretty much the JTM45 for all my clean stuff and a little bit of a dirty sound. And then also a Marshall JVM, which uh, is providing all the high gain stuff. So, so having said that, let's start with the JTM45. Here I've got the FM9 edit open. There you can see my layout. Again, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's not complicate matters. You know, you don't want anything over complicated. I see all these presets with a million things going on and that's cool if you want to do stuff like that. But for me, it's just way, way overdone. I don't need it. So, this is the JTM45. Uh, I'll take the delay off for now. And this is just the straight up clean sound. To me, it's one of the best clean amps in the FM9 that I've come across so far. It sounds like this. clean sound and amplifier it's really clear you can hear the high end in the low notes so yeah I really 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 like the JTM 45 sounds great um, effects wise, I have, as you can see there going along, is the volume, uh, I've got a volume block, I've got a Fractal Audio EV1 down at my feet, um, and so I can do swells if I want to. And I've got that set after the amplifier so I can do those swells without it affecting, you know, the delays. I've got it before the delays and the reverbs. So yeah, uh, the reverb is there. It's the Rich Hall set on ultra high. I'm using FM9 Turbo. I've got the processing power, so why wouldn't I use it? It's in parallel. I'll not go into parallel and series effects in this video, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's in parallel, uh, along with the delay as well. Um, speaking of the delay, um, I am using the 2290. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Just set at 500 milliseconds. And that's just a very straight, simple delay. I've got on the foot switch so I can turn it on and off should I need it. I'll turn it on. Sounds like this. Turn the volume pedal up. Mm -hmm. 
Really nice, and I really like that uh, 2290 delay. Uh, we've got some chorus going on. Uh, it is the digital stereo chorus. I'll turn that on. I've also got that on a foot switch as well. Uh, you've got to be a little bit careful with the chorus. Some choruses you use can actually take away, um, in my opinion, take away the high end, which is not something um, I particularly like. I like to embellish the sound uh, with chorus and not, not detract from it. So you'll hear it, I'll kick it in. You should be able to hear it. Very nice, and also I have a, in the pan trem block, I've got the harmonic tremolo. Uh, I've got, also got that on a foot switch as well. Um, it sounds like this. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that is pretty much it for the uh, the clean sound. I've got a drive pedal on the front. Um, it is the uh, the Clone Chiron, which is the Clone uh, the Clone Centaur in, in real life. That's also on a foot switch. Uh, it gives a really cool drive sound. Uh, it gives the amp a nice push. <laughs> Nice open sound there, and again, I can put the delay on if I want it. Very Rolling Stones kind of a sound. And so that's cool. All right, so that is the JTM 45. Let's move over now, hit the scenes button. And what I've got happening is, uh, if I bring down the scenes menu, we're switching over now to the JVM, getting into the high gain kind of sounds. Um, and I've just basically got uh, all the OD2 channels from that amp uh, on this preset. So the green, the orange, the red, and then we, I've got a solo patch at the end, which we'll go into. Um, so yeah, so we'll switch to the green on the JVM, and uh, so this is kind of like a low gain uh, kind of sound, uh, it sounds like this. Bye. 
Yeah, so like a, like a low, medium gain kind of sound. Uh, nice martially, obviously, nice martial tone there. Um, in this, I have got the gate activated just to keep, it, uh, keep the noise levels down. Don't really need to get into that. Uh, there's my settings on the amp, nothing drastic. Uh, the gain just up a little bit. It is kind of a, you know, a clean type of, um, you know, channel on that amp. It cleans up really nice, you know, you just need to back the, uh, the volume off and you'll get a nice kind of clean sound as well. about this uh, this particular channel as well is it's very touch sensitive so if you want kind of less gain just really ease up on the strings really dynamic so the harder you dig in the more you know gain you're going to get Which is super cool, really, really good. That. So that's how that sounds uh, on this. I've got a drive pedal. I think I'm also using the uh, the Clon Centaur. I am. Yeah, it just gives it a nice push in a high again. Uh, if I need it, I'll kick it in. <laughs> Sounds great, a lot of people would go for the Tube Screamer, but uh, to me, I tried the Tube Screamer, but for this particular channel, I like the, uh, the Clon Centaur there. So that is pretty much it for the green channel. We'll move over now uh, into the high again, the orange channel, which is pretty much kind of where I live uh, most of the night. Uh, so it's it's kind of high gain, but you can, you can back it off if you want. So orange channel sounds like this. <laughs> Really nice sound that, I think it's nice and balanced and uh, just sounds really pleasing to my ears for, the, for a high gain tone. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's the green channel. If we want to take the delay off again, we'll hear it without. In fact, I'll take the reverb off as well, so you can hear it with absolutely no effects. <laughs> So that's it with no effects at on. We'll turn the uh, the reverb back on. Just gives it a nice little bit of ambience there. Turn the delay back on, and I've got the drive pedal activated. Like as soon as I kick in the uh, the scene, 
again, the drive's on a foot switch, so I can turn that off if I want less gain. <laughs> So that is pretty much the orange channel. Uh, again, let's go over now to the red channel. It's pretty much exactly the same as the orange channel, just more gain. Alright, so uh, that is pretty much the red channel, no need to explain that, it's exactly the same, just more gain. Uh, and also now, the last on this preset is my solo patch, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn it down a little bit, because it will be loud, obviously it's a solo patch, I've got to set the like, um, actually I've got a filter that kicks in about 3 dB, uh, 3.5 dB of boost, just to give it that lift. Um, I'll turn I'll turn that off, because I don't want like for the purpose of this, this video to like all the levels be all over the place. Um, so what I've got going on, I've got the multi delay, which is the aura delay, which is the Keeley Halo delay, the Andy Timmons uh, pedal. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, the reverb is still on there, just just a lot more. Just it's basically just louder, a little bit more gain. What channel is it actually? It is the uh, it is the red channel. Um, I did have it on the orange channel. I've recently switched it over to the red channel for a little bit more gain for those lead sounds. And yeah, just a multi-delay, so it sounds like this. Yeah, so quite a, quite a lot of delay going on there, but uh, you know, it's all fun. And again, just to demonstrate the foot pedal, um, the volume pedal, sorry, why I've got it after the amp and before the effects, just so you can, you can turn the volume down without shutting off all the effects. I'll demonstrate here, just like, I'll play a note and then turn the foot pedal off. <laughs> So I've also got a preset called Ambient, as you can see here, it's using the, the Fender Super Reverb uh, amplifier. I've got a few things going on, uh, which I'll explain, but it, this, the amp on its own is just an absolutely fantastic sounding amp, definitely one of the best clean uh, sounding amplifiers that I've come across so far on the FM9. <laughs>
just a really, really lovely sounding amplifier. Um, so yeah, as you can hear, I've got a multi-delay on and also set to my EV1 here is this Plex delay. Um, it's set to the mix here. If I just right click on that, it's set to pedal one. So when I turn on this, it's going to, it's, I've got the, the type as the golden shimmer. So when I turn it on, it's going to sound like this. It gives like a nice ambient strings kind of effect. <laughs> Absolutely lovely and I really really enjoy using that. Uh, reverb is the wide hall, set the high, I don't know why, we're going to change that right now, set it to ultra high because why not. Um, yeah, uh, that is pretty much it for this video. We got through it, we got through it. Alright, so, have I missed anything out? I don't think so. <laughs> so alright, so that is it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, just thought I'd make a quick video, well quick-ish and show you what I'm using live. Hope you enjoy the sounds. Let me know in the comments if anything you know you do differently. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and uh, if you enjoyed and you want to. Hope everybody has a fantastic Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.